I am so thrilled to talk to two of the Johns, my favorite Johns, John Ham, John Patrick <laughs> Chanley. How are you guys? Wonderful. John, I'll start with you. This film um, is an adaptation of your 2014 Broadway play, Outside Mullingar. It took two years and $5.5 million to make this movie. Due to COVID restrictions and lockdowns, many people um, will watch this film from the comfort of their homes. And it was initially set to be released in theaters. I have to ask you, do you feel like the film's message will transcend whether it's watched on the big screen or whether it's watched at home on computers, cell phones, or TV? Well, I think that, uh, first of all, actually, it is, it is showing in about 400 theaters around the country, uh, just nowhere near you or me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's, uh, I think that, I don't know about you, but I have major cabin fever. Uh, and to be able to experience a movie that takes me somewhere very different than where I currently am, that's very beautiful, it is exactly what I want to do. So I'm kind of excited that it's the holidays uh, and that this is an uplifting film and that it's set in a place that I personally find so beautiful and that I love so much. Yes, and John, John Hamm, who played the confident, self-assured American cousin Adam, I love your character, who um, wants to buy the form. Uh, there's a scene in which you pull up to the form in the Rose voice, and I'm like, wait a minute. And then Rosemary asks, what is this for? And you say, for show. What does your character represent in this film? Well, I've said it before, but I think in, you know, in less capable hands, the, the, the character could very easily be a, the, the sort of stereotypical ugly American. But what John has done so well and balanced so nicely is that he's, he's brought, uh, brought to this character who didn't exist in the play or didn't, didn't, we didn't see him in the play, he was spoken of. But he's brought a real inner life and a real backstory and a real place to go. And so instead of just being the ugly American, instead of just being this kind of stereotype, he's actually less of an antagonist and more of a catalyst for these two people to kind of find their happiness. And in, in doing so, he finds his own happiness, but not at their expense. So I think that that, that that lends itself thematically to what the whole movie is about, which is basically this fable about love and and leaning into what uh, what could possibly be the best decision you've ever made, even though it might be a little terrifying. Definitely. John Patrick, the um, alluring, unassuming romanticism depicted in this film was quite refreshing to me. At first, I didn't know what I was going to get, but then after I left, after I'm done with the film, I'm like, wow, I needed that. That's something that I needed. Um, why do you think this film will connect with the viewers? Well, I mean, I'm writing about the human comedy. I'm writing about what it is to be human, yes. you know, to want things that are missing from your life, to be afraid to go out and get them. Uh, you know, this guy has something that he feels that if he told anybody, he could not be loved. And we all have something like that going on, all of us. Some of us manage to reveal it to uh, a person and some of us don't, and that's a tragedy. Uh, and it's the work of uh, Emily Blunt's character in this film to get him to trust her enough to tell him whatever it is that makes him feel that no one can love him. It's beautiful. You did it so beautifully. John Ham, John Patrick, thank you both. I wish you all a very happy holiday. Thank you for talking to us today. Thank